Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make tail spinners like a little George from back in the day. We're going to use the do it mold tail spinner jig. These jigs are great for suspended bass, crappie, white bass, perch. But today I'm going to show you how to make them. Stay tuned. The right, first thing you want to do is get your lead started heating up. You want to take your, take your mold, make sure you got it good and smoked. Got a video on that. I'll link it below. Just run around and smoke a mold. Usually I just lay my mold right on top. By the time my lead gets melted, my mold's good and warm. Alright guys, we got our mold heated up. We got our lead heated up. Let's go ahead and pour a couple of these tail spinner jigs. I'm going to use our wire form. Goes with this mold. We're going to pour a half ounce and the 5 8 ounce today. Position that in there. Make sure you get it to where when you close the mold, you hear a click. That means everything should be sealed up. Double check, make sure there's no gap here. Go ahead and get our ladle. Get his ladle full. Ladle it right in there. Let it cool for just a second or two. Open it up. Got a good complete pour. All right, after these have cooled down a little bit, you want to take and remove your sprue. What I do is just take a little small pair of side cutters, barely squeeze it just a little bit right there, then I'll grab it, grab it, and move it back and forth and breaks right off. It's real good in there. Put that actually back into the lead pot. And I take a file, hit the front end of these just a little bit, kind of smooth them up because you got just a little bit of burr right there. Now we're ready to get a powder paint. All right, guys, we got the powder paint set up going here. If you want to learn how to build one of these, I got a video. I'll link it up above, down below. Now we're going to heat these up on the uh, heat gun. Heat them up about 15, 20, 25 seconds. Get these heated up real good. That way the powder will adhere to them real well. I'm going to dip it in there real quick, swirl it around, call it good. I'll paint the rest of these back with you in just a minute. All right guys, our oven's heated up to 350 degrees. I'm going to put these wrestles right in there. About 22 minutes, 24 minutes. All right guys, the timer just went off. Let's get these out of the oven. We rack out this foot away. Grab it with a pair of pliers. Close your door back. Set them down and let them cool. All right guys, these are going to cool off for a little while. When we come back, I'll show you how to put the spinner, the clevis, beads, knives on them. We'll have a finished jig. All right guys, we're going to get started assembling these tail spinner jigs. You can see they turned out real nice. There's the one actually got the three colors on it. There's the hammered finish. There's the all in white. Chartreuse in white. Let's go ahead and get started assembling these. Let's do the hammered one first. We'll be adding, some, adding a bead. Just whatever color bead you want to put on there. I'm going to try to match it. Matching in contrast. So you want to put a bead on first, then you put your contrasting bead on there. We'll go with a red. Silver and then a red. And you want to get your spinner. And your clevis. You want your blade facing forward. Slide your clevis on there. Like that. And you want to put another bead. You want another silver one. And we'll go with another red one pliers that we got from Hobby Lobby. I'll put a link to those down below. So we're going to get that and start right here. About an eighth of an inch in. Start, start your bend. You bend it all the way around. And once you get that bend all the way around, keep everything in line. 
not even gonna fall off. That'll look good. We'll add our hook. Today I'm using Eagle Claw Laser Sharp 3X Treble, size number six. Do not to hook yourself. These things are sharp. Now we're gonna add some eyes. Best thing I found to add eyes is just using a small exacto knife. Go ahead and get you an eyeball here real quick. So you can precisionally place it right there in the slot. Turn it over and do the same thing on the back side. Eyeball. Put it right in the front. Take the teeth down on there. If you want to, you can take some clear nail polish, put over to protect it. But most of the time, these will stay on there for a long time. And there you have it. Spin it tilt down. Finish these other three up. I'll show you what they look like when you get done. Alright, guys, got them all put together. Turn out real nice. There's a triple color. White, green bug, and red bug. Real nice. There's the yellow and white. Also looks real good. Here's a white with a hammered finish. Turned out real nice. Chartreuse and white. Little pink beads on that one. Be good for crappy. They're schooling up in the fall and winter. All right, guys. If you like these videos, please subscribe. Got a lot more videos coming out. Try to upload them as quick as I can. Thank you very much. Have a